welcome to Inside Grain Farmers of Ontario. This week we go inside finance and administration. We're here with Kathy Cocker, our controller at Grain Farmers of Ontario, and we're into a new budget process. Can you tell us a bit more about what yourself and the finance department are doing on the new budget? Uh, yes, uh, I have been here at Grain Farmers of Ontario for this will be my seventh budget year. Mm -hmm. And what we normally do is start our budget process in March. It occurs after the March Classic, and uh, traditionally what happens is the managers all receive budget worksheets to help them in the preparation of planning for their new, f new year. The additional information that goes to the managers may be schedules uh, related to travel expense and employee type of an expense. The amount of uh, data that actually is uh, pulled into these reports from all the various departments is approximately encompasses over 200 accounts and that is all within 11 cost centers within the organization. Once the managers have finished with their worksheets, they then, do, they then submit them back into the finance department where all that information is combined into one financial report. Mm -hmm. And that report encompasses historical actual results from prior years as well as the current forecast for the current year and the budget for the the future. Once that is done and it's accepted by senior managers, it goes then on to the Finance and Audit Committee. At the Finance and Audit Committee meeting, the committee members are able to go through the, the full report through each cost centre and each line item and any major changes are discussed at that time. By the end of that meeting, which does take quite a few number of hours, uh, the Finance and Audit Committee would then recommend that the financial report be presented to the Board of Directors for final approval. And then you had mentioned uh, about getting into the audit process. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, the audit process mm -hmm. actually begins at the same time or just slightly before the, the budget. Uh, it, it begins actually with the auditors uh, do come into the organization and meet with the Finance and Audit Committee in March uh, at the quarterly meeting in March. Uh, they review the upcoming year's audit, the objectives of the audit and the scope and also outline the responsibilities of the Finance and Audit Committee versus the responsibilities of management during an audit. And uh, at that time, there's an in-camera session with the Finance Committee. Uh, at that time, managers and staff leave the meeting, and it gives the Finance Committee members a chance to openly discuss any concerns or issues they may have, and they may want the the auditors to review during the audit. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have, as I mentioned, we're just finished up with the budget. Mm -hmm. So we're going into preparation now for the audit. Uh, we as a department have met to discuss our plan. We also meet with Wheat Marketing. And uh, then in the, the end of June, we uh, s send our trial balance or all our data off to the auditors and they come in for the first two weeks in July and actually perform their field work. Great, and how uh, does Green Farmers of Ontario ensure that we're fiscally responsible uh, to our farmer members? Uh, we're fiscally responsible or what we ensure is uh, we do meet with the Finance and Audit Committee quarterly mm -hmm. and also to also discuss our annual results. It's at those meetings that the committee look at or review the variances. Uh, variances are discussed, discussed either uh, negative or positive variances. Mm -hmm. And uh, then at that time, if there's a, a considerable change or adjustment that can be made, it, at least then finance and audit committee are aware and you know, can discuss that with managers or senior managers in case there may be a change in 
in uh, direction or decisions have to be made. If you would like to see the financial statements for the 2016-2017 fiscal year, they will be available in the annual report ahead of the AGM in September. Once they are available, you can find them at gfo.ca or call the office. Don't miss next week for another episode of Inside Grain Farmers of Ontario.